Hello everyone, welcome to Data Wolves. I hope you are all doing fine. This is our new video on conditional formatting. We have divided this video into three sections. In first section, we will see how to conditional format a table. And we will see what are the different types of conditional formatting available in table. So if you can see here, uh, if I go to average age, you can see in conditional formatting, there are different options, background color, font, font color, data bars, icons, and web URL. We will see all of these conditional formatting and we will see how we can conditional format using gradient rules and field values. In field values, we will conditional format the values using a measure. So this is for in the first section. And in second section, we will see how to condition format column chart. We will see how we can change the colors of bar using conditions like comparing the sales of current year with previous year. So this is our second section and in third section, we will see how to conditional format a KPI card. So this is going to be an interesting video and I will provide all the downloadable resources that is the PBAX file which I use in the description section. So let's start with this video. In this section, we are going to see how to conditional format a table or a matrix in Power BI. And for this, we are going to use a PBIX file that is Power BI desktop file, which we built in another video in which we have showed how to build an HR dashboard from scratch. So we are going to use this table here, which we built during that video. So what we will do, we will create a new page. So this page two is created. Now what we will do, we will add tables to this page. I will add table to this page. I have added one table. You can see that. Then I will add different columns here. So first column is job role. I have added that. Then salary, average salary, then gender ratio. I have added gender ratio. Now we will add what is the third column? Let's see. The third column is overtime. So we are going to add overtime here. So now you can see our table is created. Now let's say we need to conditional format all these four columns which are present here. So what we can do, if you go to this average salary high, you just go to this arrow button, click here, then you can see there is conditional formatting option. So let's say we want to show the bars showing the average salary in this column. So we can click over this conditional formatting and then we will select data bars. We will click on this data bars. Now you can see the data bars of average salaries appear here. So uh, the minimum is the lowest value and the maximum is the highest value. It will auto detect uh, that bar and it will give us the color like which color you want. Either you want a blue color or something else. And if the values are negative, then you can select the color for negative value as it is an average salary. So we don't have any negative value here. And what will be the direction? So let's stick to left to right and the axis will be a black color. Just click OK. Now you can see we have a bars here. So 17,182 is the highest value. So the bar length is longest. But this one is the shortest because the value is very less. So this is one type of conditional formatting. And if you want to remove it, let's say if you are not satisfied with this conditional formatting, just go to this uh, uh, above the conditional formatting. There is a remove conditional formatting. And if you want to remove the da uh, data bars, just click here. If you want to remove all conditional formatting, just click here. So we have removed it. Now let's again create the conditional formatting. The process is very similar. Data bars, you can change the color. Let's say if you want to change it to uh, maybe this color. So we have all the bars here. Now we will see the another type of conditional formatting. Uh, this is the gender ratio. You want to highlight the gender ratios which are less than 70. So let's check what is the gender ratio first. So if you go to gender ratio measure, so basically it is a divide and we are showing it as a percentage. So the value varies from zero to one and then we convert it to into percentage. So 0.5 means 50%. So we'll go to this gender ratio, click on this conditional formatting. Then let's say we need to put icons here. I will choose this icons here. Select format style as rule and the field on which you need to show conditional formatting. So our value is gender ratio here. You can select different other uh, parameters also and applies to values only. So it will the icons will apply to values only not to the totals. We will select this total later. I will show and then left of the data and alignment and styles. You can choose different styles here. 
so just i am removing these all the values of our gender ratio is in percentage so it varies from 0 to 1 so what we will do we are going to change this into number so if the gender ratio is greater than 70 percent that is 0 0.7 and it is less than maximum then we are going to show let's say a green icon and we will add a new rule and if it is greater than or equal to minimum and it is less than 0 0.7 then we are going to show a red icon just change it to number and just click ok now you can see so if the number gender ratio is less than 70 the icon is red and if it is greater than 70 the icon is green but it is not appe appearing here in the total section so what we can do we can again go to this gender ratio uh, right now it is in left we will change it to the right so we will again go to this gender ratio then conditional formatting then icons so all settings will appear here we will change it to apply to values and total and change the icon layout to right of the data now you can see all the icons are visible here so this is another type of icon conditional formatting and we have used rules here now let's go to overtime uh, we will add another type of conditional formatting here which is the background color so we will go to overtime click here add conditional formatting then uh, let's say choose background color and we will choose gradient here and highest value will have this bluish color whereas lowest value will have the color like that is whitish we will change it to let's say uh, red and green we will click here for lowest value we will choose red color and for highest value we will choose a green color so now you can see the highest value that is 33 percent has green color and the lowest value that is 24 percent as completely red color now we have shown two type of conditional formatting if i again go to this over time conditional formatting let's say background color so we have seen gradient we have sealed rules now we will check what is the field type of conditional formatting which we are going to apply here what we will do we will change the background color of these job roles by the department and we are going to use this measure for changing the background color so what we will do we'll go to this job role we'll go to conditional formatting then we will choose the background color and then in uh, format style we will choose field value then uh, we have created cf color measure we will click on this and click ok then you can see the color has been changed as per the department now we are moving to our next section that is how to conditional format a column chart so we are using another pbx file which we built in another video where we have showed how to build end-to-end -end sales dashboard using power bi so we are going to conditional format this chart so if you can see this chart if i can zoom it this chart for you you can see we have in this chart we are showing uh, sales of current year and sales of previous year so this columns are showing sales of current year and this dash line is showing uh, sales of previous year so if current year sales is greater than previous year sales then the column color is green and if current year sales is less than previous year sales then the column color is red so we are going to build this chart so let's create another page we will add a visual that is line chart and column chart that is so we are going to add product first in x-axis so we have added product in x-axis now we are going to add sales we have added sales as a column now we will add sales as a previous year in line so you can see a sales line is created now what we are going to do we are going to condition formatting these columns if you go to this format your visuals you can see we have an option columns click down here you can see the color as of now is green you can change the color through this any color you can pick as per your wish now let's see we need to condition format this with respect to previous year sales now we have another measure that is sales versus previous year so if you see this measure we have sales versus previous year where we what we are doing we are subtracting sales with previous year sales so if this value is greater than zero then current year sales is greater than previous year and if this value is less than zero then previous year sales is higher than current year sales we are going to use this measure 
we will go to this fx so wherever you see this fx that means that value you can conditional format in power bi so we will click on this fx we will select rules then we need to conditional format it with respect to sales versus previous year so we will select sales versus previous year we will convert it to number and if this value is greater than zero and less than maximum then the color should be green we will add another rule if this value is less than minimum less than zero then the color should be red we will click ok now you can see every color is green because the current year sales that is this bar is higher than this dash line so what we will do we will add some filter so let's select the date filter control c we will add it here sync so now we have filtered the chart by 2018 now you can see in this product for product 2 the previous year sales that is this dash line is higher than the current year sales so this color is red now we have completed this conditional format for column chart so now let's move to next section that is conditional format a kpi card so we will conditional format these kpi cards we are using same pbix file which, which we used while conditional formatting the table so we will create a kpi card we will add gender ratio here so you can see we have 67 percent as gender ratio we will go to the format visual then call out value we have the color of this font call out value as black we can change to this but we need to conditional format let's say if the value goes above 70 then it should be green if below 70 percent then it should be red we'll click on this effects icon select rules the gender ratio is already selected so if it is greater than 0.7 and less than maximum then the color should be green we'll select green we will add another rule if it is greater than minimum and less than 0.7 then the color should be red let's add red here so now you can see the color is red because it is less than 70 percent if we filter it about manager because the for manager the gender ratio is 85 percent if we click here so that uh, we have filtered the gender ratio for manager so it is green because it is greater than 70 percent we will click again here let's format this background we will go to again to this icon that is format visual then general then effects then background right now the background is white we will change it again to rules then if it is greater than 0.7 less than maximum then it should be green but a lighter version of green because our font will not appear and if it is less than 0.7 then we will change it to red but a lighter version this is fine okay now you can see so if it is less than 70 percent the background is red if it is more than 70 percent the background runs to green so we have successfully conditional formatted three charts that is first is a table or matrix then a column chart then a kpi chart if you want me to make uh, another video on another chart then we can do it and if you have any problem then write down me in the comment section so guys that's all for this video if you find this video insightful then please do like this video and subscribe to our channel and feel free to ask anything in comment section we will try our best to answer all of them check us out on different social media platforms like linkedin facebook and twitter and check our websites that is datawolves.com so we'll see you in our next video thank you bye